Hey Alexa, how strong is the King Corso? The King Corso is a muscular and powerful breed known for its strength and protective nature. They have a bite force of around 700 PSI, which is higher than many other breeds. Despite their strength, they are also known for their loyalty and devotion to their owners. Hey Alexa, who, who went in a fight between a King Corso and a Chihuahua? The King Corso, being a larger and more muscular dog, would likely defeat the Chihuahua in a fight. The King Corso is a protective and powerful breed, while the Chihuahua is small, feisty, and lacks the physical strength to compete with the King Corso. The outcome of a battle between these two breeds would be one of the most important factors in predicting the winner. If you guys know that the King Corso is the most dangerous dog breed, that's why you hear this to this lovely, graceful woman named Alexa. She's gonna hear me because she's a good girl. She's so cute. You know, she, she's so cute. Even though she's not a girl. Get that thing away from me. Now, let's get right into the more explanation or how do you say that just comment down below if you know i don't know i forgot hey alexa what dog is much taller a king corso or a dogo argentina the dogo argentino is taller than the king corso the Dogo Argentino has a taller appearance and darker coloring. Still, they're still the most dangerous dog breed. Hey Alexa, who who will win in, in a fight between a King Corso and a Dogo Argentino? From reptilknowledge.com. A cane corso in most cases would win. See. Hey Alexa, who will win in a fight between a cane corso and a Rottweiler? A cane corso is a large and muscular Italian breed of dog, originally bred as a guard dog. They are generally known to be very protective of their families and territory. It is said that in a fight between a Cane Corso and a Rottweiler, the Cane Corso would win. You hear that? Cane Corso will win. Hey Alexa, who, who will win between a fight and a Cane Corso and a Rottweiler? Hey Alexa, off. A fight between a king. Hey Alexa, off. Sorry guys, my brain just don't know what to do right now. And if you see, you might see the picture. If you're from my family, you might see the picture of my teeth. I don't know what is that. It's like. It was like a darker, it's kind of like that. But, um, one more thing. We got a lot to go. Hey Alexa, can Kane Corsos cuddle with their owners? Yes, Kane Corsos can cuddle with their owners, especially if they are affectionate breeds. The Corso's tendency to cuddle depends on their individual personality and the upbringing. The Corso is known to be a very loyal and protective breed, and cuddling with their owners is one way they express their affection. Hey Alexa, can King Corso's... Hey Alexa, 
Can Can Corso, a breed of dog, is a question that has no concrete answer because the breed hey, is still Alexa, relatively Hey Alexa, off. Hey Alexa, can, can kids ride on a King Corso's back? Children can ride on the backs of Cane Corso dogs if the dog is properly trained and socialized. The Cane Corso, a protective and gentle breed with children, can make a loyal and loving companion. However, it is important to ensure that the dog is adequately sized and trained to accommodate such a ride. Improper training and sizing can pose risks to both the dog and the child. Hey Alexa, what do Cane Corsos eat? Cane Corsos are typically fed a high-quality dog kibble, along with canned food and raw or cooked meat. Proper nutrition is important for the health and well-being of Cane Corsos, and their diet should be tailored to their individual needs and preferences. Bye guys. Thanks for watching, and say thank you to Alexa. Thank you Alexa, we love you, yeah. Yeah, we love you. Woo woo, we love you Alexa.